Okay, yes, this is a very popular walk in the Lake District, but the quality of the scenery is far too good to miss. Park at White Moss Common, off the A591. The main road runs along the northern margins of both lakes, restricting access, but walking routes abound on the southern side. Cradled in the Rothy Valley, under the shadow of high mountains, known locally as Fells, they include Helvellyn and Fairfield. Grasmere and Rydalwater offer a variety of scenery at its most exemplary, a landscape favoured by William Wordsworth. Choose your time carefully and keep clear of weekends. There are several walks. Now, my preference is to cross the River Rothy over a footbridge, making for the open fell via a woodland path. Once reached, there are several choices of route. Basically, it amounts to turn left for Riderwater, right for Grasmere. A public path runs along the entire southern length of Riderwater and most of Grasmere. Because of high fells, some reaching more than 2,500 feet, a wide-angle lens is essential if you want to include everything. My trusty 12-100 Pro lens is invaluable. Wide-angle at 12mm, that is 24 in film, is sufficient to include the complete mountain range, with enough telephoto for detail. For greater flexibility and for photography of wildlife on the hoof, consider the 12 to 200 lens, which at telephoto is equivalent to 400 in film. However, unlike the 12 to 100, which is constant aperture, it is variable aperture and has no image stabilizer. Take a picnic and spend the whole day. The more energetic can climb Lufric Fell. At 1,101 feet, it is modest in height, but you get some of the best views of the 3,000 footers across the valley. My favourite viewpoint is White Moss Common, on the other side of the main road, accessed by taking the old road for Grasmere. It is marked on Ordnance Survey Explorer Map OL7, and you get two cracking views for the price of one, but after the road it is rough underfoot, especially in summer. When photographing a lake from the shore or from a height, don't include too much water unless you are lucky enough to have a perfect reflection or a touch of mist. To achieve this, you will need to have a knowledge of weather forecasting in addition to photography. Break the water up with foreground interest, otherwise you end up with just a vast expanse of rather monotonous water. On my last visit, shafts of light were scudding across rider water. This is particularly true of Lafrig Terrace, reached by taking the right turn after reaching the open fell from the wood. The lake occupies most of the picture, but if you are lucky enough to arrive when autumn is at its peak, the glorious colours will make up for any other failings in composition. There are no catering facilities at White Moss Common car park, other than a loo and the possibility of a mobile van serving refreshments. But Grasmere, which can be included in a longer walk or ambleside by car, will satisfy most needs. <laughs> 